on this film, I felt like there were a lot of muscles I didn't even know I had that I had to use. So um, that was interesting. What happened? We did what we had to do. He was buried right. It's a lovely kind of bonus, I think, to, to the fact that uh, audiences, for the most part, seem to have really enjoyed the film. That was the main objective for us, was to make sure that, you know, cinema goers enjoyed watching the movie. And as I say, we were focused on creating, you know, an intense, realistic um, portrayal of, of this story. But yeah, the additional, you know, um, awards buzz around the film has been very, very flattering. You forgetting your place, boy. As far as I can tell, my place is right here on the smart end of this rifle. Tom's got an amazing respect for the text, you know. Um, he analyzes, you know, every single aspect of what his character has to say and do. His attention to detail is amazing. He's obviously just naturally very, very talented. So to see someone be as conscientious as he is and naturally talented is, is, is really um, quite overwhelming. It's important to remember, you know, we were representing men who, I mean, genuinely lived out in those environments, whereas, you know, we, we did go back to a hotel and we had a warm bed to go back to uh, every night. By design, we were uh, uncomfortable for, for, for a lot of it, and that's because, you know, we needed to capture exactly that. One moment that sticks out particularly is, is being on the flat boat and traveling down the river. Seemingly 360, we were surrounded by nature and kind of a different era as well and couldn't see the cameras. The crew were entirely hidden. There's just this untouched, beautiful wilderness. That That's crazy and that really was like traveling back in time. Um, and I had a few moments like that that were pretty, pretty awe-inspiring. <laughs>